Hey guys, I want to show you a groundbreaking video today on ideogram and mixing it with GPT. And the reason why I say that is because I've cracked a code on something that I haven't seen anybody on YouTube talk about. So let me go ahead and show you what I mean. Now, the first thing, if you want to replicate the strategy that I'm going to go with, you can, you're going to need three different plugins, okay? You're going to need your Keyword Explorer plugin. It looks like this little blue icon. And I'll tell you what every single one of these things do in a minute. Um, but let me just kind of go through them. The next plugin you're going to need is Bramwork. That's B-R-A-M-E-W-O-R-K. The next one you're going to use is VoxScript. Now, let me go ahead and explain what they do. But before I do that, let me go ahead and read my prompt so you can kind of be on the same page as me here. So my prompt is provide me with the quotes, sayings, play on words that can relate to my cute Yeti design. In my case, I, my niche is going to be a cute Yeti design, right? This design will be a shirt, and I need you to take those sayings and perform a search using Bramwork to provide me the search data pertaining to each one, meaning the search volume, etc. After the use of the Keyword Explorer to find alternatives that are similar that can help me decrease the competition so that you can use Bramwork again to figure that out. So essentially what I'm saying here to the AI is... I need you to find me play on words, quotes, or sayings. I need you to take those quotes and sayings and do a search on them using Bramwork to figure out how competitive they are and their search volume. Once you find that data, right, if I'm happy with it, I'll use them. I'll move forward and I'll use them. That's where Ideogram comes in. If I'm not happy with them, we'll go ahead and use VoxScript to do a search for different words, right, different play on, play on words, different sayings, different quotes, and then what we're going to do is do a, a validating search with Bramwork and see if those do well. If they don't do well, then we're going to go ahead and use Keyword Explorer to find alternatives, finding similar keywords, because that's what Keyword Explorer does, right? And it will then provide me with the search results of those keywords. So we have three sets of keywords here. And I, in this case, this system is so good. I only needed to do this once. So... It provided me the results here. It said 1 through 10. Yeti to party, stay frosty with Yeti, Yeti to snow, Yeti set snow, etc. Okay? You can see your brand work is working, and it's providing me results of search volume. So I can go ahead and take a look at the analysis, the meta-analysis here of... Uh, Bramwork's first quote, which was Yeti to party or keyword. And what it discovered here is that the difficulty, I believe it just said it here, is low, which is zero, uh, 20 out of 100, which I believe is actually located um, right here. So right here, right? And here it gives you the search volume, which is 90 searches a month. So what we're looking at here is a keyword that will be profitable over time. It's not going to shoot out money every single day, but it will be profitable over time. There's 90 searches on Google per month, right? And based on those searches, that's not too bad. It's, it's going to provide a good amount of, of income from that one design, right? So remember, my goal is here not to make a ton of money off of one design. It's just to make a bunch of designs that provide a ton of money because each one is bringing in a little bit of money, right? And that's kind of the winner mentality that I have and the long-term thinking that I have. And it did the same for many different quotes. This is where Ideogram comes in, okay? So with Ideogram, I created a prompt here that works perfectly for the system. I typed in topography in all capitals, colon, and then a set of quotes, and then inside the quotes is exactly the keyword that it provides to me. So I'll go over up here, and I'll just copy and paste it just the way it is. And you can see here, it is exactly copy and pasted, no changes to it. Then what I'll do is after the quotes, I'll put in a space and then a number, a hex code, of the color that or the color or colors that I want to use. In my case, I used one color and I was using the color palette generator. Okay. So I used the color here and you could use any color you want. You can generate randomize colors, all that kind of stuff. I'll leave the color palette in the link in the description if you want to check it out. Right. Super simple to use. Then what I'm doing is I'm giving it some data. I said calligraphy comma simple. So I want it simple, calligraphy, right? And overall, I could see right away, this one I'm not going to be using because the text is all jacked up. And this one I'm not going to be using because it's not spelled properly, right? It's Yeti set snow. Where's the word set here? It doesn't exist. This one is good, but it's complicated. I could definitely use it as a secondary design, but it's not going to be my primary. Then we have this one, Yeti set snow. 
perfect, right? So this right here is effectively a comma. What I need to do is I need to edit the design. I already created a full tutorial showing you guys how to edit designs, and I it literally took you from beginning to end with this. And then what you're going to do after you edit this, you're going to post it wherever you want to post it. Redbubble, Public, your own website, Zazzle, etc. You get the job done. You get my point. So after this is all completed, you can see here I did this eight minutes ago. What we did here is we had the AI search for us a, different key, a, a bunch of different keywords that apply. And then what we took those keywords and we made sure they were validated, right, with the search results. And then we put them into ideogram. I want to keep things in mind for you guys here. When I have a keyword that I want to search, I would normally have to go to my search keyword tool, which, you know, I've made videos on this before. And then I would type it in here. I would hit search and it would provide me with a whole bunch of data that I have to research and break through. So let me explain. I would have to put a keyword here, hit the search, and then I would have different keywords here with their search results that are similar. Here, I would see the search trends, and here I get the total search volume per month on average, right? So I searched a word of a plant, a uh, name of a plant here, and then the search volume hit 25,400 searches a month, okay? I look here into the search volume, and this is the trend over time. So back in August or July of 2019, the search was 27,100. Right now, it's currently 27,100, and at the highest peak, it was, you know, 33,100. So the average is 25,400, right? Me looking at these similar keywords, this data, all this, that's exactly what Bramwork is doing for me. Keyword Explorer, it will find me alternatives or similar keywords, related keywords, which is exactly what these keywords are here, right? And that is the system here that they can do this for you. So this is effectively how to turn GPT into ideogram, all right? So GPT type content into ideogram using ideogram to do this. Now, the thing that separates this from most tutorials is the search volume analysis, most people find keywords that they like, the sayings, quotes, whatever you want to use, and they'll just put it on their design like nothing happened. But you really need to start validating the search volume because you're going to be one of those people that end up running backwards. And what I mean by that is everybody's hustling, right? They think they're hustling forward. They think they're doing more work, but they're hustling backwards. If you create a thousand designs with no search volume and no success, Nobody's going to discover your design. I've said this in my Redbubble tagging course before. You guys are familiar with the Redbubble tag course. I've shown how to do some SEO work on there, some really, really good tagging work to learn how to tag properly on Redbubble. One of the most important things that I always used to say was people have two problems in, in print on demand. The first one is design. They, don't, they can't design for the life of them, which is fine. It's a skill you have to learn. The second thing you have to learn is how to have your designs seen just so happens that I prefer most of the time to get my designs seen through organic tactics. I don't want to have to pay for ads every single time to get it seen. In the case of Redbubble, it's next to impossible to pay for ads because Redbubble doesn't have an ad system that you could pay for. And I wouldn't pay for ads through Facebook or Google or anything like that for Redbubble. That's just a losing ideology for many reasons that I've talked about in the past. So really, the goal is search traffic organically. So how do you do that? You have to do your SEO analysis. If you create the best design in the world, but you have terrible tagging, you're not going to make any sales. If you have the best tagging, but terrible designs, you're going to get clicks, but you're not going to get any sales. So you have to look at your own data and you have to ana analyze your own data. And if you get a ton of clicks, but no sales, a ton of impressions, but no sales, guess what? Your designs suck. If you're, if you're getting a ton of of um, or you're getting a, maybe a very, very low amount of sales with a very, very low amount of traffic, then you're probably, your tagging is pretty bad. Your titling is pretty bad. You're probably not getting enough traffic. If your traffic is low, you're probably not doing good from a tagging, titling perspective. Now, that's not just Redbubble. We're talking about all platforms here. T Public, Zazzle, Redbubble. I mean, you name it. So, Basically, what it comes down to is doing search volume analysis, and this guy helps us get one step forward into the future of creating easier designs faster. And you just saw here, the only thing that I have to do really here is edit it. That's all I have to do. So I'll leave a link in the description if you guys want to see how I edit 
the ideogram designs and I made a video specifically on how to edit ideogram designs. I'll leave a link in the description. Check it out. I'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks for watching. Peace out. Bye.